Good morning, evening, friend. He is your friendly announcer. I got some serious news to pass on to everybody. What I'm about to say could mean the world's disaster, could turn your joy and laughter to tears and pain. It's that love. It's in me of a love today. Y'all can't deny it. Don't delay. Send yours in right away. Because hey, hey, hate's going round. Is breaking many hearts. Stop it, please, before it's gone too far. Oh, oh Lord, help me sing it, y'all. Ooh, ooh. It's gone too far. The hatred is at an all time is at an all time high, you know. I mean, I'm gonna start. Where can I start? It's all around. Hey, hate's going round. It's breaking all our hearts. Yes, it is. I know it's breaking mine. But listen here. Good morning. Good afternoon. Don't let me put on my phone box this morning. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Where is my my whole? Um, I want to welcome you to the mental health. All right. With me, your host, today. Now, y'all, let me say this. You know, we talk a lot about mental health, you know, on this show. Well, we don't talk a lot about it because don't nobody really want to talk about it. They don't mind listening, but ain't nobody trying to participate when it comes to their own issue. Very seldom some of us comment and be like, yeah, you know, I got crazy in my family. More than likely, y'all just listen and then maybe do a thumbs up. And that's cool, too. I appreciate it. If you want to participate, I would love it even more because... Uh, those of y'all who do really make this channel go, and and y'all the only reason I stay around, uh, because I ain't making no money, <laughs> not on YouTube. So um, that's the reason why I stay around. I stay around because some of y'all get it. Some of y'all really freaking get it. I mean, the hate is going around. So. With that being said, with that being said, um, I, 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 somebody sent me a disturbing story about somebody that I really like, I really respect, out of Chicago, and I think right now is going through some real, real challenges. You know, one of the hardest things in the world is when you've had shine, and when you've had the media cover your every move or you know, you, you are somewhat of a celebrity and you have sucked all that in with your ego and you have let it define you in some kind of ways or in a lot of ways, you know, you get spoiled. And, and I'm, not, I'm not putting a judgment on it. I mean, because how can you not if people are catering to, catering to your every desire, your every move, you know, and I mean, how can you not be... Um, you know, you know, fully yourself, basically. But a lot of times when you lead a spotlight, 
the hardest thing in the world was to find something that gives you the same feeling as what you got in show business. In fact, it's very difficult uh, to find the, the charge that you find when people are um, buying into what you're selling, right? Or, um, you know, you're a member of a favorite sports team or, or whatever. So today, um, like I said, somebody sent me an article and I really didn't want to touch it right away because I, I don't want to be for it to be misconstrued or taken wrong because I really have some concern. In fact, I got a lot of concern because this is one of my favorite players. Uh, it's a dog from out of Chicago uh, that played the game of basketball the way I played. You know what I'm saying? She played the game of basketball, and, and and she was a damn good guard. She played for the Liberty. She played for Phoenix. Um, and she's just a damn good uh, – she's an assassin. And I'm talking about none other than uh, Cappy Pondexter. All right? So I'm sure a lot of y'all know, uh, or those of y'all who follow the WNBA should know who the uh, who Cappy Pondexter is. Now, for all of y'all who talking about y'all believe, and I don't, I don't have to mention no names, that there's nothing going on and that... Uh, LeBron James is a, 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 you know, I don't know what LeBron James does, but I don't, don't think that we should spread things, um, or even uh, you know, co-sign it until we make sure that people are straight. You get what I'm saying? I think we should make sure people are right upstairs before we start saying that we validate what they say or they invalidate what they say, especially when they come out with something real heavy. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do if you're an objective person. You don't right a, right away jump on somebody saying something about somebody because you don't happen to like them. For instance, LeBron James, LeBron James. If I know that you don't like LeBron James, and I know this story is, is very exciting to you, so let me go ahead and get into it because it is it's really. I hope somebody um deal with my sister who I believe is having a mental health breakdown. And I was, I, there was a certain things that let me know right off the bat that we were dealing with a 5150. Um, in my opinion, as much as I've worked around mental health, you know, as much as I've been in the mental health game, because I recognize the mental health uh, situation with all of us, including myself, um, when she said that I'm more European than any that, I was like, what the, what are you talking about? That was right off the rip. She said um, she's more European than anybody. So that didn't sit well with me. Now, a WNBA retired basketball player has said that she was trafficking, trafficked, <laughs> y'all, y'all know it's early in the morning here. And her money was stolen by NBA star LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. Two-time WNBA champion, Cappy Pondexter. Cappy! Cappy! Lord Jesus. Is not doing well. And people believe she's having a mental breakdown after taking to Instagram live, claiming that the Los Angeles Lakers started trapping her and other women. Man! Do you know how big of an accusation that is? Oh, my God. And because this person is, you know, is suffering from mental health uh, issues, I believe, then you can't be sued for slander. Because although mental health is real, it seems though uh, Pondexter will have to come with more receipts than just her mental health problems. The former point guard played 12 seasons before retiring in 2018. A few years ago, Pondexter went missing, and now she's claiming her disappearance is all because of LeBron James. LeBron James. Oh, Lord. And it's not funny. I ain't confused. I ain't on that shit. That nigga tried to kill me, for real. I just fucking got, a, got out of that shit. 
I've been missing for almost like two years. I didn't even know where the F I was, the former, M former MB WNBA star said. Whoo, child, these are some serious allegations that you done made against this man. She don't fuck with LeBron James. That nigga is a trafficker, my nigga. <laughs> my nigga, that nigga is a trafficker. He's fucking trafficker, my nigga. He trafficked women in real time. That nigga stole all my money out of my bank account. Now that one was strike two. Oh, man. Well, this, man, he been working on Space Jam for the last few years. When he have time to do all this? Traffic women? Oh, he running a, 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 a whole ring? <laughs> this is the point I'm saying, y'all, about mental illness. You know, and you can, you know, we can take it and, and laugh, and but the series of it is that it's serious. You know, the, 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 um, um, what, what, what made people start believing that Pond Dexter was capping, like her name, Cappy, is when she's added that she made, uh, she had more money than LeBron James and that Beyonce was her wife. You know what I'm saying? So now, we can go talk about uh, Shamika Holesclaw, who is very open and out front about some of the struggles and challenges that she's had in terms of, you know, dealing with all that crowd, your anxiety, um, just wanting to play the game of basketball, or even in Cappy's situation, you know, what is happening? Because um, Cappy, Cappy was very intense. You know, she was a very intense point guard. And, you know, that was what made her great. So now the other end of that, she's not playing no more, which happens to a lot of entertainers. When you're not playing no more, when you don't have that shine and that fame no more, what do you do with yourself? And if you don't have um, um, people that support and are real about mental health issues, you end up in this type of uh, situation. So all I really want to say is I hope Cappy um, get the help you know, that she need. And I also want to say that anybody knows somebody that's suffering or if you feel like it's talking a little bit outside the scope of what you consider normal and, um, uh, you know, call, just get some help. You know, call 1-800-662-HELP, which is really 4357. Again, that number is 1-800-662-4357. And, and that's a hotline for some mental health uh, advice, help, you know, maybe a place where you can even dump some stuff. Or the, the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill. Those places are wonderful. They um, do um, positive work in most cases. And I just think that uh, more black people need to get into the health field, the mental health field, so we can help our people. Because there's a lot of us suffering. And it doesn't matter how much money we have, how much money we've made, how much what None of that matters. What matters is our stinking thinking. And that's what has to uh, be addressed, okay? So with that, wanna say, with that being said, I just want to say my heart and my prayers go out to Cappy. And I hope that everything is okay with her and she get the help that she need. I want to know how y'all feel. Do y'all feel that Cappy is having some issues? Or do you really feel like LeBron James is out here trafficking women and raping kids at his I Promise school? Because that was the third strike uh, for me. I was like, girl, you know you done gone too far. So that's just me. Some of y'all might think it sound good. Leave your comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Well, y'all got to wait till I make videos before y'all start talking. Make me see.